Hey everyone, this is the uh, computer again. This is just a quick update of what I've added. As you can see, there's a huge bunch of circuitry here I've added. Um, as you can see, the UR uh, 6501 ACIA has been added in, and coming from the MAX232, which is converting the voltages, I have three cables. This is clear to send, where am I going? Here we go. clear to send, request to send, and transfer. I don't have the receive cable because I'm not really going to be receiving any data uh, for this demo, and I don't want it's it, these cables pop out really easily from the uh, serial device. I did make a cable that was connected in here, but it wasn't really working, uh, so I just did this way instead for now. That's a null modem cable, by the way, and it goes to the back of my computer. So, what is the circuit? Well, the circuit. I'll start with everything uh, first with these two chips. This is just an AND chip and that's an inverter. And that's um, because of the current decoding scheme I have, uh, you're forced to use 8,000 uh, kilobytes per device. So uh, what this does is pretty much uh, ANDing it with one more pin, address pin, so it lets you use 4K. So I pretty much can use more devices for less amount of uh, less amount of address space. Uh, the main part of the circuit is a latch here which is connected to the data bus and also has an enable line connected to it and this multiplexer which its select lines are hooked up to, sorry, demultiplexer and the select lines are hooked up to this latch. So this latch is pretty much saving what select line to have. And this enable is also added to my decoding circuit. So, what is it? It's a bank here, or a banking circuit, memory bank circuit, whatever you want to call it. And this is how I'm going to be doing expansion cards. Yes, uh, I don't want to break any more wires. This is actually going to be going on a printed, not printed, but a prototyping board. As you can see, that's, that's going to be for the CPU, that's going to be for the UR uh, 6551 uh, ROM RAM, and then we're probably going to put some more chips here. Uh, for more additional RAM, and then there'll be an address decoding, and then there'll be expansion slots. So yes, uh, pretty much how it works is uh, there'll be a piece of memory used for saving the uh, your value here, and then another piece which is tied to the decoder, which enables this, this multiplexer. So, depending, and that gets sent to a device, which is going to be expansion. So, uh, depending on what this is set to, will change what device is being read. For testing purposes, I have it set to the LCD and the U, um, 6, I keep calling it UART, the 6501. So, uh, I'll also show you a demo of it actually working. So, uh, let's see, anything else? Well, well let's see in progress, uh, what it does. And my cat just got on. Get out of here. Yeah. So, let's turn it on. And it's hard to see, but you can see the word serial. And I'm going to pop this open. Yes, it's Duke Nukem. I'm going to open up Putty. I'm going to go serial, COM1, 9600 baud. And we're going to get tons of X's, because that's what the program does. Uh, on here, you can see tons of A's. Uh, so every time an X is sent to the computer, an A is uh, printed on the LCD. So this proves two things. First, the banking circuit works. Second, 6051 is sending data. Of course, I wouldn't send X's. I would send uh, like a command prompt or something to the screen. But for now, for testing purposes, it's efficient. So yeah. Now my uh, device, my uh, computer's talking to the other computers. <laughs> So uh, I can use this actually as a keyboard and mouse, or not keyboard and mouse, a keyboard and a monitor instead of building a video chip and a keyboard interface. Uh, of course, I'm going to add those in later, uh, and probably there'll be expansion uh, devices, but uh, till then, uh, yeah, and this will be, it'll be on this board here. I've actually uh, purchased, if I could find it, let me just... Actually, purchased uh, a uh, 
socket, not socket, but uh, a uh, I don't even know what you call these. A DB25 connector that will uh, be soldered onto that board. So it won't be wires like this, it'll be actually a connector. Now you may be wondering why am I using DB25? Well, it's the only null modem cable I have on me, and I don't feel like buying another one just so I can be like, oh, use it. The, um, the header I'm using on the back is actually from my old, uh, the camera see it here. For one of my old computers, my original computer, so eh, I needed serial, so I ended up using it. It was actually for the uh, the Amiga there, but uh, yeah, that is uh, the update. Thank you for watching.